One, aren't these gyrations by Democrats to distance themselves from Professor Gruber a little embarrassing? Yeah, that's a, that looked bad. That's a gaffe, I would say. And, you know, and I like the tape you played earlier where she said you're going to have to pass this law to see what's in it. So, you know, that doesn't help. But, I mean, I think Gruber was insulting to the American people and arrogant in his attitude. So there's a lot of hubris involved here, and I think it's a, you know, it's a feast for critics of Obamacare who suddenly are saying, oh, you know, this is why we are upset. Look, are you kidding me? In Washington, we package, we merchandise just like, uh, you know, Procter & Gamble and anybody else that's selling soap. Of course things are packaged in such a way as to promote So there's nothing advantage. new here, nothing that Gruber's... There's very little. In fact, I would say as much to do about nothing with Gruber except that the critics of Obamacare are having a field day. The act is working. The uninsured rate in the country has dropped by 25%. This is something that Republicans should be celebrating. We have more competition. We've done away with the Medicare donut hole. We have no lifetime caps and limits. We have no uh, conditions about pre-existing illnesses. We have preventative medicine. It's just incredible to me, though, Republicans persist.